Hi everyone, welcome to the sixth edition of Vocal Tip of the Week. Uh, in this edition, we also have a guest by name Doris Oswagu. She's uh, a professional soprano soloist, and then a music educator, and as well a voice teacher. In this edition, she'll be talking about resonance, how to sing better, and then we'll focus on resonance. Uh, resonance is a very, very vital element in sound production, and uh, that is why I said to focus on that today. Every sound is resonant, but the perspective of resonance uh, in vocal pedagogy is such that a sound is free and then open, you know. So let's just hear what our guest has to say about it. Now remember to subscribe, like and then share these videos if you're interested in this kind of videos because we'll be giving you more of this. And also follow us on Instagram if you want to have updates as regards these videos. Resonance is a phenomenon that could be described in various ways. It could be described differently when you're discussing physics. It could be described differently when you're discussing anatomy. And of course, it could be described differently when you're discussing singing. So in singing, it is that phenomenon that describes the quality you hear when sound waves come in contact with your resonators. So while singing, production of sound waves, coming in contact with your resonators, produces resonance. So your resonators consist of your oral cavity, your nasal cavity, your larynx, your pharynx, your skull, basically. So that's what resonance is in relation to singing. Resonance can be likened to good tonal quality. And for you to achieve good tonal quality, there are various exercises you can do. But there are specific exercises that are targeted towards achieving resonance. Now, these exercises will help you get used to giving your oral cavity enough room for your sound to resonate. These exercises will be targeted towards making you identify the points of resonance while singing. And these exercises will also help you produce your vowel sounds properly, no matter what happens with your consonant sounds. Now, um, an example of such exercises is the yawning exercise. The yawning exercise helps you understand how high your soft palate should go. So when you yawn, Oh, basically, it gives you an idea of how high your soft palate should go. The second exercise is um, using words that have NG, the NG sound in them for your rehearsals, like singer, hunger, kinging. So you could make them into pitches like sing. So you're connecting the NG to a vowel, to a vowel sound. So you don't just stop at sing, you connect to your vowel sound. Because if you stop at sing, there's every tendency for you to go nasal. And the last thing you want is a nasal sound. So you go sing. It doesn't come out anymore because it's nasal, it's up there. But when you open up for the vowel sound, sing you have the vowel sound coming up and that's through your mouth and that's what you want to achieve maintaining that resonance right there and then when you also have um, exercises for airflow exercises that help you have consistent airflow very good for resonance you cannot have good resonance without proper support from within proper breath support so these exercises are very good for you to achieve resonance resonance is necessary in all styles of music i would say if you want to sound good 
you need resonance. If you want your presence to be felt when you sing, you need resonance. If you want to convey emotions in whatever style of music, you need resonance. So I believe resonance is important, it's necessary in all styles of music. All you have to do is learn how to use, how to produce a resonant sound and learn when to use resonance. So in achieving resonance, please bear in mind that you do not have to force anything out. You do not have to be tensed. Ensure you're free from tension. Ensure you have an open throat. Ensure you're not, you're not going through whatever emotional or psychological issues, okay? Because you need to be in the right state of mind to achieve resonance. I hope you got a lot from that and um, if you have any questions, reactions, you can just comment below there. We'll visit your questions and reactions and then don't forget to subscribe to follow us and if you're interested in this kind of content, you can also follow us on Instagram at Austin Bays. See you in the next edition.